Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? My name is Rob and welcome back to the channel for another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys which stocks I'm gonna be buying today. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys an update on my dividend based portfolio and I show you guys what stocks I'm gonna be buying. But before we get inside the portfolio and I give you guys an update on how things are going, I wanna spend some time talking about the TFSA because I found this cool little article on Bloomberg that actually says that 49% of Canadians actually don't understand that they can hold investments inside their TFSA. So I thought this article was pretty interesting because it just goes to show that the bulk of people, the bulk of Canadians don't understand how the TFSA works and they're vastly underutilized in their TFSA. Um, so if you guys are watching this channel and you guys have investments inside your TFSA, I guess you guys can feel good in knowing that the that you're actually above 50% of people and you actually know how to use your tax-free savings account. And so this basically just shows us that a lot of people don't know how to use the TFSA and it's a shame. And, I, and even though I do think people are becoming more educated and that's a good thing about the TFSA, there's still lots of um, room for improvement and whatnot. So in these videos, we're going to focus on the tax-free savings account, and I highly recommend that if you guys are starting to invest and you are a Canadian, definitely invest in your TFSA. Maxing that thing out is probably the best thing you can do. But anyways, let's get on with the video, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video so far, please do me a big favor and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more Canadian-based investing content. Let's jump inside the portfolio and let's see how our stocks are doing for today. All right, guys, so there's lots to talk about in today's video, so we're going to be covering a lot, and I'll try to get through this as quickly as possible. But first things first, we'll do a quick little portfolio update and show you guys how our portfolio is doing. So if you guys are brand new to the channel, we have a $13,000 dividend-based portfolio that we've been growing since earlier. Uh, we actually basically started in January 2020. I've been giving you guys updates um, you know, on the stocks I'm buying and the performance uh, throughout the year. So we started this in two accounts. We had a personal account and a TFSA. Um, the personal account had a couple of REITs in there, and... Um, Going towards the end of the year, I've kind of moved the personal account inside the TFSA. So the TFSA, we currently have a good chunk of the personal amount that we're going to be investing over the next couple of days or the next week or so. Um, so this is the total returns for the account so far. So over the past day, our performance is down a little bit. We're down, I guess, um, negative nine dollars, which is really not that much at the end of the day. Over the past week, we are down. We're just kind of just breaking even here. Um, and in the past month, we are up three percent, which is three hundred fifty-two dollars. In the past three months, we are up six percent. So our portfolio has been kind of going up over the past little while and in the past year we were up six percent now keep in mind because we made that big deposit of four thousand dollars and it's a good chunk of the portfolio sitting in cash uh well simple trade isn't actually counting that as a overall growth because you guys can see that we actually had plus seven hundred and sixty two dollars so if you minus that four thousand dollars really we're sitting at about nine thousand dollars or someone inside our portfolio um so the growth has been pretty good it's actually probably sitting around like a nine to ten percent range which is more accurate so hope you guys um <laughs> uh kind of just kind of know that but before we go further inside the video so here's the portfolio that we have here's the socks that we have and as you guys can see they're pretty solid companies uh, mixed when mixed in with some good solid ETFs and that's the main thing inside this portfolio is a focus on ETFs um, I've been cleaning up some of the ETFs as we go through towards the end of the year because I bought a bunch earlier this year a um, bunch of ones I didn't really need so I'm just kind of been cleaning them up and I'm actually gonna get to, get to the point where they'll only hold two ETFs um, we're not quite there yet um, as I'm still waiting for some things to happen here um, but we're basically gonna settle on these two ETFs with the VDY and VFV and I think ETF investing is an it's important thing to talk about because I know a lot of people on YouTube um, a lot of youtubers and stuff like that they talk about like you know like growth stocks and these small cap stocks and then you know they make those videos that talk about how these stocks are triple or quadruple in value and I think it gives the wrong impression to investors on how the stock market actually works and what what is the best way to invest over the long term so I think ETFs are like the best way to invest over the long term and I think everybody it'd be smart for everybody to put a good chunk of your portfolio now it's up to you on how much percentage you want to hold in ETFs I think holding in this particular portfolio my I'm probably going to shoot for about 80% in ETFs and 20% in individual stocks that I buy and I think that's a pretty safe bet and I think most people would be wise to follow the same especially over the long term because um, long term you're probably not going to be able to outperform the market in ETFs especially if you're investing in good selling ones just generally are good selling investments and they perform well in the long term so that's the main focus for this channel and that's the main focus for my portfolio and that would probably be what I would recommend most people do. So two ETFs we have are VFV, which is a Vanguard S&P 500 fund. This, even though we, when I first built this portfolio, it was a dividend-based portfolio, I still want to see some growth stocks, and U.S. growth stocks are the best stocks to hold. I think a fund like this um, that you can buy in Canadian currency, that you're not getting charged fees, and has a very low dividend ratio, so if it's sitting inside your TFSA, you're not going to get taxed that much. I mean, the dividend yield of VFV is like 1%-ish, so you're getting taxed like, I think, 0.15% or something per year, which is like nothing. Um, so holding like a nice, good growth-based U.S fund inside your TFSA is a very, very big, very good smart choice. So we're kind of be building upon this. We currently holds about five, almost 6% of the portfolio. So I do want to be adding this over time. Um, I definitely want to get that up to like that 50% 
kind of range inside the portfolio. I definitely want to grow it over time. And keep in mind, we still will be getting dividends from this fund. But uh, like I said, I want to do a combination of U.S. growth-based funds with Canadian um, dividend-based funds and also some stock appreciation with the Canadian stocks as well. So the Canadian stocks are more like the, the more the dividend stocks and some stock appreciation while the U.S. Um, stocks are mostly just there for growth and to really kick things up in the short term. That's kind of the goal. So today we're going to be buying probably split between VDY and VFE and then I'm going to be buying one Canadian stock probably towards the end of the video. It's going to be a solid one that I, I think is a great stock. So we're going to buy about $500 uh, worth of VFE and then I'll probably buy $500 worth of VDY. Um, the allocations for the ETFs are a little bit screwed up especially since the big deposits coming in. So I'm just going to kind of build upon the ETFs for now uh, mostly over the next couple of days and then once we get like the bulk of the deposit in and I can start kind of figuring things out more then we can kind of look at some of the individual stocks because a lot of them are weighted pretty high in the portfolio right now so i want to put more into the etfs just to kind of balance things out to once again get that ideal ratio that i'm looking for so we're going to put a 500 dollars or so into vfe so i'm going to buy that right now i'm going to place that order through and then we're going to jump over and buy some vdy as well so as you guys can see here, VDY is the Vanguard Canadian High Dividend Yield Index. It's a pretty solid fund. Um, a lot of people have asked me, like, why don't I use some other funds? And honestly, guys, there's a lot of good ETFs. I just went, I decided to just pick with this one. But um, there's a lots of different good uh, Canadian-based ETFs that you guys can invest into. Just make sure it's got, like, a good fees and it's, you know, got over the course of time, it's got a good, like, a good rate of return and that's pretty much all you can look for and look for some good quality companies right as long as it holds good quality companies has a good strong history of good returns i think it's pretty solid so going down here i'm going to be buying about um, five hundred dollars worth of vdy as well and as you guys can see i have about 28 percent of the total value in vdy we are up eight percent overall it's been going down a little bit because i've been buying a lot of share, shares over the past couple days um, but hopefully over time it will grow and i think this is one of the best canadian based dividend based funds so we'll go through here and I'm going to be buying $500 once again. We'll let that order go through. We'll buy four, $499, pretty much, pretty much $500 there. We'll let that order go through. And then we'll jump inside the portfolio. And the last stock I'm going to be buying today is, is a solid Canadian stock. And that's going to be none other than TD Bank. All right, so TD Bank is one of the best banks in Canada, in my opinion. It's one of the fastest growing banks. And I think this stock is just one of the best stocks. And it's probably going to be one of my biggest holdings, uh, especially as we go into 2021. And although I think most of the Canadian banks are pretty good stocks to invest into, I think most people will also agree that TD Bank and, you know, if you watch a lot of other YouTube channels, they kind of say the same thing. TD Bank stock is just, I think, one of the best potential stocks to grow in the future you know they have great earnings great dividend growth strong history of growth they're just a really solid stock so today um if you're going to buy a canadian stock if you're going to be buying an individual stock i still once again think that td bank stock is one of the best stocks to buy and going towards this weekend i'm probably going to be doing an update video on td um, where i basically talk about why i hold td and why i think it is one of the best bank stocks to buy so keep an eye out for that video i'll probably do that sometime this weekend i'd imagine maybe on saturday i'll publish that um, but definitely td stock is a, is a bank stock to buy we currently own 19 shares inside the portfolio, total value of $1,369. We're currently up 10% all time since we've been buying it throughout this year, um, and it was down quite a bit earlier this year. Um, it's about 15% of the portfolio, so obviously over time when you buy more ETFs, this will balance out. But once again, I still think this is a good stock to buy. So I'm going to add about 100. I'm going to buy, I think, think I'm going to buy about two shares of TD today. So if you guys are looking for like a Canadian stock to buy, I dec I, you know, you can't really go wrong with TD. It's always a good buy. So that's probably a good stock to buy if you're looking for an individual uh, stock to buy for inside your portfolio. And other than that, guys, um, before we close out this video, I just want to do a quick little update on the dividends earned for this channel. So if you guys are brand new to investing, you can kind of see how I've grown this portfolio and kind of learn about what our end goal is here. So the end goal of the portfolio is kind of basically to grow that dividend income and eventually get to the point where dividends pay for everything that we have. And as you guys can see earlier this year, you know, we didn't have much money in the portfolio, but it's been slowly growing over year over the past couple months throughout the whole entire year and we're approaching the 12th month of december we're almost had a full year of investing inside our portfolio guys it's been absolutely crazy and as you guys can see here the total dividends earned from the portfolio is 246 dollars and it's just been really really sweet um so once again like I, I mentioned before you know it's really slow in the beginning but things start to get going and i like to show this just to inspire you guys you know if you're you like me and you don't have a lot of money to invest you're just kind of plugging in on a regular basis here um this is the type of results you can get as long as you're investing in good solid companies and like good solid quality ETFs. So you can expect to get that growth over time, which is why I think they're one of the best ways to invest. Um, so other than that, guys, um, I'll leave my affiliate link in the description of this video. If you guys want to set up a Wolf Simple Trade account and you guys haven't used um, anybody's link yet, that'll get you 10 bucks for free. So check that out as well. But other than that, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll put an end screen
been to my last few videos. I think I did a video on the number one Canadian stock to buy. That video did really good on the channel, so I'll leave a link to that video if you guys want. Check that video out. In that video, I talk more about Manulife, which is also one of the best stocks to buy right now. Um, so check that video out, guys. But other than that, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and remember to smash that like button. Um, have yourself a good day, and I'll see you guys later.